This one is related to breaking distance. There are two methods of doing this. Method 1. Now, there's another way of doing this question. Hello everyone, welcome to Maths IEC. Here's a typical GCSE physics exam style question. This one is related to breaking distance. Please pause the video and try this question. When you want to check the answer, press play. A car traveling at 22 meters per second and having a mass of 1,600 kilograms comes to a stop in a breaking distance of about 30 meters. Now, the first important thing we need to understand here is that the question is talking about breaking distance. It is not talking anything about the thinking distance. So this 30 meters is the distance traveled by the car after the brakes have been applied until it comes to stop. Using this information, estimate the braking force applied to the car. Now, there are two methods of doing this. Method one. The first method is to write kinetic energy lost is equal to work done by the brakes because the car is moving because of kinetic energy. If you can work out the kinetic energy of the car and equate it to work done by brakes, I should be able to get the force. So kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv squared. Work done by a force is force multiplied by distance. Now we can substitute values. This V here is the initial speed, so that's 22 squared. So the kinetic energy is 387,200, which is equal to 30F. So divide both sides by 30. We get 12,906.6 recurring. So to the nearest whole number, 12,907 newtons. Now, there's another way of doing this question. Now this time, we're just going to use equations of motion. So we know the initial velocity is 22, final velocity is zero, and the displacement here is 30. So we need to find the acceleration. We can use this formula here. Negative 484 on the left-hand side is equal to 60A. Divide by 60. So this is a deceleration. The value of deceleration is 8.06. The negative sign you don't need to worry about because it just shows that it is in the opposite direction. Now we know to find the force, we can use the equation F is equal to ma. So if you write it, the mass of the car is 1600 multiplied by 8.06. And you get exactly the same answer you got before. 